These are the Clips something. I don't know what they are exactly. It's a Swedish brand, Clipsitch or whatever. These are old, I mean like old, you know, earbuds and headphones don't have obsolescence is the same way that other technology does. Like driver technology hasn't really evolved like that. You need some crazy, like there was these like graphene headphones with graphene drivers that I'm like, oh, maybe that might be some new innovation, but no new, like you, there's no like, oh, make transistors smaller, make the, like there, there's, there's no progression anymore. Sound has been good for a long time. The, the best quality headphones you can buy today are the same as the best quality headphones you could buy 50 years ago because the technology hasn't progressed. And, and because of that, they don't have like obsolescence. You, if, if you wanna have obsolescence in the headphone industry, like how Apple does, you need to purposefully put in features that will ruin the products after a certain period of time. Like the noise cancellation on my AirPods is worse now than it was before because they want me to buy the AirPods Pro too. Like it's not like it's the same and there's a better one. No, they, they actually made it worse so that way I'm forced to buy the new ones. Like they ruin my product. But actual good like audio companies and not like slave owners, they'll actually make good headphones that will last a lifetime. And so in the scale of headphones, this is not actually very old, but it's old enough to have come out in a time where AirPods would seem like magic. In fact, these are not, these are not like listening headphones. I don't know what purpose they're for. I don't think they're for making music because the bass is really boosted on these. But actually, if you look at the ends, they have a, a 90 degree angle. If I take it out, look, it's the aux and it's a 90 degree angle on the ends, which is not built for phones. This is made for computers. And I love these headphones, dude. I love these headphones. I love this sound. I love when I get used to a song and then I go, oh, I haven't heard it on the these headphones because there's a nostalgic factor to it. But the nostalgic factor is amplified by the fact that these have an interesting sound. And I highly recommend people do this. If you're still young and you still are developing those nostalgic memories, which I mean, you could argue I'm still young and I'm still developing nostalgic memories. But if, especially if you're in school doing those tricks where you got to have an earbud running through your sleeve and you like pretend to pretend to be listening or like falling asleep or whatever, but you just, and, and you have the long sleeve up all the way in your hoodie and things like that. You know, you're in school, you're playing these games. I guess the games are different now. If you have long hair like mine, you can wear AirPods and get away with it. If you're in those moments, you're in those situations and you're still in school, particularly in like middle school, maybe elementary school, but I didn't have these in elementary school. I got these in middle school. They were my brothers. They were a hand-me-down and we have three of the same exact earbuds. There's one, I, I, there's one somewhere around here but this is the one that I take to the gym like once every couple weeks. And because it has this unique sound that's like made for some purpose of like, I don't know, mixing EDM music or on the computer or something like that. It's got some other purpose that's not like consumer listening. It has an interesting sound and I've developed a nostalgic connection to that sound and it's consistent and now I can go back to it and I get this like really, really deep satisfaction from listening to music in the nostalgic sound. And I love that I have that. And so many people that I talk to who are like audiophiles, they don't have that because they were just listening to like stuff through Apple or whatever's the best one, whatever has like a V-shaped sound or whatever. And this might have a V-shaped sound too. In fact, it does. It definitely has a V-shaped sound, but it's just such a beautiful, it's so interesting and it's nostalgic and I love it. And if you're still, especially if you're in middle school, maybe it's even better in elementary school, I wouldn't know. But if you're in middle school, I highly recommend getting a unique pair of earbuds. Maybe you get a couple pairs because it might break. Other one's broken. The other one, only one of the things actually works. Only one of the earbuds works. Get a, a pair of earbuds that have an interesting sound that don't sound like what everything else sounds like, the mainstream sound. So that way you have a different thing that you can always go to. Get used to it and develop that nostalgia connection. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's in a brilliant investment and it's paid off in full multiple times over. I look at audio in a bit of a different way. Actually, I really enjoy a lot of times, I enjoy going out, not even having anything playing, just having one earbud in and letting the wind send wind noises into my ear. Audio files are so like, oh, I have to be indoors in a closed off room in the middle of my home where it's like completely isolated, sitting in like a sound chamber with all this, these noise cancellation things. I'm like, bro, y'all are losers. Like these people don't know what they're missing out on. All the sounds of like, of the world and nature, like blending with your music. When you, when you, I don't take this hobby so seriously. When these audiophiles like take this shit so seriously, it's like you're getting an inferior experience because I have no, like tolerance, everything still hits super hard for me. There's no hedonic adaptation. There's no lifestyle adaptation. 
and it's newbie gains forever. So yeah, I highly recommend from a borderline audiophile, from a person who just loves, loves, loves audio, I recommend chasing inferior audio experiences. That's my advice. They don't make these particular ones anymore, but if you can find them, if you can find them online and you develop a nostalgic connection to them, let me know because then we, we share a soul.